We're going to one that actually does look kind of nice so far. Uh, this one is Disjunction. As a single player cyberpunk stealth action RPG. Uh, which looks from the trailer just more stealth action. I don't see much RPG about it, but we'll see. We shall see how it goes. I did run this, right? I was like, wait a second. I don't have a... I don't have a folder. Um... This is one that's like, if the download wasn't on Itch or on Steam, so it's like... I have to remember to go through all the processes correctly and whatnot. I don't know what the uh, recommended control scheme is. November 18th, 2048, New York City. Seems about right. Ah, but there's evening news. Clashes between police and Central City residents continue this week after the shocking murder of decorated NYPD officer Samuel Lewis by controversial Central City community leader Lamar Hubbard. Officer Lewis stopped Hubbard near the border of the Central City over orange, over orange text. Okay. So Central City is like a slum in the Central Park. There's a drug known as Shard. Of course there is. <laughs> I appreciate this one, though. <laughs> the mayor... Does prefer anything that might boost his popularity. Like maybe framing an upstanding leader of a homeless community. Just saying. All right. Interact by pressing space. Frank. Civil. Organizer. Manages several of the town's functions. Okay. You know what this is about. Sure. What do we have to go on? <laughs> we're, apparently we're a private investigator and we should do some fucking investigating. New, this is the same hint text every time, every contact, like same context text. Thing, a non-profit clinic set Lamar up. Okay. Right. You know anything about the shard? Try not to be too overt. Okay. Like the the 
the profile picture and then the sprite. Like this, this is a different haircut. I'm sorry. But let's -a go. Very minimalist soundtrack, like very minimal. Somewhere on the second floor. Stay alert, watch out for guards. Can't interact with any of that. <laughs> Run out of health, you die. Tends to be how it goes. We'll shift to walk. Okay. So that's how. Maybe, yeah. Like if I, I have to be holding that down. Very easy to sneak past. Perform melee attack with a tactical baton. The ESX-18, an impact baton, is a tactical stun baton developed by Sentinel Defense. Equipped with parallel conductive wires, the side handle nightstick is capable of delivering sharp electric shocks upon impact. The baton is silent. Eliminate this guard. Okay. I'm, I'm down for that. You seem very eliminated. Oh, I can drag the body. Oop. Now nobody will see it. Yoink. I mean, it's non lethal. Passive ability is de each character, so there are multiple characters. Doubling the damage of your first attack every 10 seconds. Get through this room using what you've learned. Okay. Let's hide that body. I've I've played Hitman. Three actives. Shock bolter. Okay. Whap. Smoke grenade. F again to detonate the grenade. Okay, so it's it's a two tap. I took a hit in there. Just gonna stack the bodies neatly. First aid. Okay. Oh, I was supposed to take damage. Scripted harm. Okay. Finding leads related to Lamar. Optionally find the upgrade kit on the second floor. That guy seems tough.
probably probably pretty pretty helpful. Okay, now they're all How did they not Whatever. Whap. Y'all been blapped. Okay. Whoop. Almost got spotted right out of the gate. I got spotted right out of the gate. I should maybe, like... Oh, there it is. I should maybe try to do, like, not just lethal. But, I mean, that worked. So, who am I to judge? That's a lot going on in there. This guy is a little higher HP and moving around very erratically. Yoink. But it's all non-lethal. I'm getting away with this, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't have gotten away with that. Biometric samples are sent out to an unnamed warehouse in Manhattan. Yeah, let's get out of here before uh, all the bodies wake up. <laughs> Phone to call Sybil. What if instead I use that upgrade that I obtained? Just be, uh, be direct. I'll try my best. I haven't used my gun at all. That said, you would think after everyone like wakes up, like, I I was I was conked. I should maybe report that. Someone just came in swinging there. Ah ha ha. I tend for three seconds, reduces the cooldown. Um. It can be changed at the start of every level. Oh. Okay.
We'll go with Overcharge. And we have 15 XP to spend. So this is a nice way of, like, doing the RPG stuff and doing, like, leveling up. Because, again, it's not permanent, apparently. Uh... Yeah, let's just go full infiltration. Go full stealth. So it's like you want to add up the uh, the XP, but like it's not not anything permanent. Until that guy gets out of the way, then... Blap. Blap. down there. Guy almost saw me. Let's make sure nobody sees bodies. My main thing here. On the upgrade kit on the first floor. That's a robot? That's just a robot? So, like, gotta deal with that. I don't know how I take care of robot. I think I start like this. We didn't even get hurt. Somehow. Find the upgrade kit on the first floor. I guess there's still more first floor here. Got a lot of HP. Okay. Not inclined to okay, they are investigating the uh the smoke grenade. A bit rushed, but it worked. Okay. Let's 
I didn't mean to shoot. Fortunately, these guards are not smart. So it's all very manageable. These are all like pretty simple guards to deal with <clears throat> so far. And we've been in like no situation that required uh, lethal strats. We may be entering one though. <laughs> We're good. Ding. Okay. Not very good. Got a little hurt in there. That's a byproduct of being so, uh, being so aggro. warehouse manufactured some of the compounds and needed to synthesize shard. It's Bose's waste in Brighton Hollow near the flood wall. <clears throat> okay, so there's one clue. Good. Top off my health. Because I, I took a beat in there. For sure. I got one grenade left. Can't sneak. Can't sneak that. been up there. Like, the stealth mechanics and all that are pretty straightforward, but it's surprisingly engrossing. <clears throat> Biometric samples are artificially duplicated. Thinking emoji. Which, which one do we lead with? Um, um maybe it is, I don't know. <clears throat> there, there's the, there's the Lamar bit too. So, all right. There's a there's story happening there. I'm I'm not sure what direction the story is going to take. Overall, like so far, some of that was a little predictable, but it's a setup. Uh, I think that was about a segment's worth. If 
I have my timing right. Um, I like how it's handling like upgrades and level ups, where it's all like you you can set it per level, uh, and then like shuffle it back around if you want. It lets you like it, it, it's probably a lot freer in terms of experimenting with with play styles. I liked doing it all like pure stealth though, never pulling out the revolver. Uh, I feel like that might be the right way to go with that character. I'm wondering like when we get other characters. Uh, it, like, is it always one person or are there parties? Um, like, what's going to be the impetus for any of that? Uh, it, it almost feels like this is... Like, this whole thing with Lamar and Shard is, like, that side... Like, you know how there's a lot of Simpsons episodes? This is a weird direction to take this, but... There's a lot of Simpsons episodes where there's, like, the A-plot. That is, like, what you're talking about when the show opens. And it's resolved within the first three minutes. And then the entire rest of the show is the B-plot that, like, is introduced because of that first one. Or is, like, an offshoot of it. Uh, so they, like, they get a small plot joke over here, and then they, they extend to something else. I wonder if this Lamar bit is like that. Like, it's, it's going to be a prelude sort of thing. And the actual story is, like, vaguely connected. I guess kind of like the Max Power one. Yeah. They, I know Simpsons does that a lot. Or did. Uh, back when I watched it. And I'm sure there's some like real name for that kind of story architecture. Where you have a prologue that is effectively disconnected from the actual story. Other than being set in the same world and maybe sharing characters. Uh, basically, I don't know how important that detective guy is. In, in the long and short of it. Uh, but like it's, it's been, in, it was interesting so far. Uh, it does seem like they're trying to make the, uh, the stealth versus aggro like matter story wise. Because the story, like the conversations kept referencing how you know, we did everything silently, no, no, no idea, like no bodies or whatever. Uh, I can imagine that influencing like later levels and whatnot. Um, it's, it's really hard to do like RPG type games on demo disc when I, I, can, I only give it like a half hour or so. <laughs> That's not a lot to dig into, but mechanically, it's kind of interesting. The stealth works. It's a little basic uh, with this character and with the setups that we had so far, but those can be the easy ones. Like, it gets harder. Um, and I'm sure, like, you can play it in ways that are more risky. Uh, you know, for various benefits. It felt like there wasn't a benefit to going lethal. If I, I, I took that non-lethal approach because that seemed to be like the most beneficial one. Uh, I don't know. That this seems like one that is uh kind of worth keeping an eye on. It was at PAX East, apparently. Um I I completely didn't notice it. I don't remember seeing it. But uh it was, it was at the PAX Rising, uh, at that booth. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's a, a, it looks like it's supposed to come out this year. I don't know if that's still going to be the case with how late it is in the year, but... I don't know, it felt kind of polished, felt like it could be, uh, could be interesting.